Check out this minor healing potion. Yes, please. Absolutely. Rock warbler egg. I wonder what kind of bird is a warbler. Rabbit. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you, Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in vines now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be in home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereff, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. I wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Daddy? Where are they going? We need to go inside with them. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa. Yes, Papa. Get these prisoners out of the carts. Move it! Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor. Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. <laughs> Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! No. Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? Alright, welcome back everybody to Big D's Let's Plays. We are 
officially starting a new campaign in Skyrim. We are going for a fresh start starting right now. Um, we added in a few mods and we we're changing a few things up. I felt like it was a good point to uh, get this across. Uh, we did have another playthrough going on, but it was more of a startup and pretty much we just wanted to uh, get to a point of where we're at right now with everything better. And I think we are at that point where we should be trying to push out better videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first of all, in this playthrough, we are definitely going to be towards Magicka. So we're going to be focusing on a mage. And let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you guys what it looks like in just a little bit. Hang in there. All right, so we're back in it. And this is a Dwayne. We're going to be calling him a Dwayne. He's a Breton. And the reason why I chose him is because honestly, Bretons have a similar tap into the Magicka field like the High Elves. Um, they are pretty much half elves. If you guys know any of the lore behind it, it will be really quite useful for under Sam Bretons. And I just consider them to be the better option for the mage. And considering this right next to uh, Skyrim, High Rock is a perfect uh, designator for providing us with a good Breton. And I feel like this will be more common in Skyrim than any other uh, High Magicka uh, characters. So let's go ahead and get started. Edwayne. Now, I am naming him this because one, it is a Breton name, and second, I'm doing it for uh, memory's sake, for a good character of mine who I used to play in Baldur's Gate, and uh, he was always the best kind of mage. And if you guys know who I'm talking about, give me a shout out down below and give me a <laughs> give me a shout out and give him a shout out down below by putting his name in. But yeah, you can never get too much of that guy. You from Daggerfall, Breton? Fleeing from some court intrigue? Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to High Rock. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. <sighs> you started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. As you wish. Come on, I haven't got all morning. Dude, there's already blood on that axe. How long has he been cutting off his this morning? My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Oh boy. You imperious bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the Breton! What? Oh no! See, I'm not even with them. I'm not even Where sure why you're asking me to jump up. I said, next prisoner! To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Oh, come on, man. Not today. I just barely woke up. I'm not even sure why I'm here. You need to take his head out at least. Oh. What in oblivion is that? Oh boy. What do you see? It's in the ground. Oh, that's more terrifying. Dude, get me up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, come on, give me a break, dude. Get me up. I'm already up. Let's go. Come on. Oh, 
goodness. Dude, she just collapsed. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. Oh, still disoriented. We need to move now. Up through the tower. Let's go. Oh, dang. Look at the village is already wiped out. Holy cow. We're moving. We're moving. Oh, crap. Move back up. Oh, boy. Uh, it's gone, dude. Jump through the roof and keep going. You serious? We'll follow when we can. Okay. What? You, why do you have to have me jump? Why don't you jump too? <sighs> Whatever. Ah! Oh boy. Okay. Oh, it's this guy. What's going on? Everyone get ah! Still alive, prisoner? Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Go uh, on, dude, a second ago you were trying to kill me. To find General Tolius and join the defense. God's guide you, Hadvar. He has a sword. We'll follow him. Stay close to the wall. Oh. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Quickly, follow me. There's a freaking dragon. Speaks. Oh, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. We need... Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Oh. Is that really a dragon? Bring us of the end times. We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yeah, alright. Sounds good. You get my hands free. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. Guys, just imagine if you your hands are tied or bound up, you're yeah, trying to run good. out and trying to uh, escape whatever's burning through a village. I think it would be ten times more terrifying. Just because you're not even That's sure if you'll be able to do anything. Like, try to imagine jumping through that tower, trying to land into that tavern. Your hands are all bound up. You can't do anything. It's like, you better get some you're going to crash, right? You're going to crash. This guy's lucky. You better get some. Oh, dang. All right, pick you up. There we go. Let's go inventory. Okay, we got the helmet already. Warden's chest. Oh, it's light armor. Okay. You better get that armor on. Give it. Let's take a look at this real quick. Okay. Got it. Okay, Imperial Armor and Light Imperial Armor. Swings too. Let's keep moving. Just one second, man. You can get prepped for all this. Contra familiar. Yes, there we go. This one too. There we go. That thing is still out there. Okay, let's bring it out. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, pull the chain. Hear that? Storm cloaks. Maybe we can reason with them. Let's see. Uh, hey guys. Hold on. Oh. 
I don't think they're friendly. Sword out. Let's go. I'm not a Nord. No, it's not. I'm doing what I can, though, okay? See if I can get that door open. Jeez, man. You guys don't know when to go down. For a gauntlet, yes. Let's take those. And ooh, storm cloak. Don't know if I need that, but I'll take it anyway. Gunyar. Light armor. Alright. Well, that was fun. Let's go ahead and get the fur gauntlets back on too. There we go. Whoa! Oh, beautiful. I think he's trying to kill us. He's tearing it all down. Damn, that dragon doesn't give up PC. Tell me what about it. Doing? Need to get out of Helgen now. Imperial. Yeah. Let's do this, guys. Come on, drive him back. Oh, come on. Come on. Just a little bit more. I'll make you stay. That's the end of that. An old story. See if you can find some potions. Might come in handy. Yeah, sounds cool. Good boy. Good boy. Alright. Go on and start picking up some stuff. Go, here we go. Dang. Okay, we'll pick up this potion, a salt pile, healing potion. Hey, we got some stuff already. What's in here? Oh yeah, jackpot, baby. That's what I like to see. Check out this minor healing potion. Yes, please. Absolutely. Rock warbler egg. I wonder what kind of bird is a warbler. Rabbit. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. Harvest. Not exactly sure if we'll need that. But yeah. Awesome. Cool. Done then. This way. Sounds good to me. Alright, let's bring out another one. Let's get the sword back out. Flames out too. There we go. The torture room. God Here we go. Oh, there's three of them. Come on, take him out. Rosy Tosi OC, man. Finish it. Finish it. Thunder and fire. All right, there we go. Good boy. Even know what's going on? A dragon is attacking Helgen. A dragon? Please, don't make up nonsense. Although, come to think of it. I did hear some odd noises coming from over there. Come with us. We need to get out of here. You have no authority over me, boy. Didn't you hear me? I said the keep is under attack. Oh, man. Whoa. Hey, man. wait a minute. What's I'll in there? You. Wait a Dude. second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Yeah, come check it out. Don't bother with that. Lost the key ages ago. Is he dead? Fellow screamed for weeks. 
What? See if you can get it open with some picks. Oh Whatever man. Sure. Take all my things. Please. Grab what oh you can. man, you're terrible. Yeah, here we go. And there we go. Easy peasy. Okay, 25 gold. We got two minor magic potions and a hood and robes. Finally! Something we can wear. Okay. And we also have an iron dagger. Good. Yeah. Lockpick, lockpick. Awesome. Oh, hang on. What's that? Brief History of the Empire, Volume 2. Yeah, we'll take that. And before this episode is over, we're planning on reading a book and have my eye on this one. So, let's pick this up. Alright, so, yeah. We'll pick this one up. And before the episode is over, we'll read it out. Sound good? Oh, shush. Creepy old man. There we go. There we go. My instincts were kicking in. It said there's money in there. There's money on this one too. Nope, there's not. Oh, bummer. What about here? Oh, we got money on this skeleton. I don't know where the pockets are at, but I'll take it. Run on forward. Okay, let's get another one out. Go. Where in oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Just give me a minute. Let me think. Shh. You guys gotta be really, really quiet, okay? Alright, come on. Oh, you hear something. Yeah, there's a dude with fire in his hand, too. Do you see it? Now you do. Alright, come on, get back up. Let's go. No mercy, boys! Oh! Hang on, do we even have our stuff on yet? No, we do not. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Come on. I didn't even need- I didn't mean to put out the familiar. Come on. There we go. Oh. Okay. Tab. Level up. Yo, we'll put some points into Magicka. And we'll drop a point into Destruction. There we go. There we go. Where are you? Okay, let's run across. We got this. Oil. Can't shoot a moving target, can you? Let's go. Back up. Well, who's hitting me? Dude, you got air on the face. Oh, nice killed move. Let's see if we can find a way out. Yeah, all right. Oop, didn't mean to swing a punch at you, dude. Wrong button. All right, let's go. Let's see where this goes. Yeah. Got the lever.
You coming? Come on. Don't have much time. We should. Whoa! Damn it, no going back that way. I guess we're lucky that didn't come down on top of us. Yeah. We'd better push on. What a coincidence. Sure find another way out. All right, man. Hop over. We're good to go. Let's keep going. Let's jump up. Got some coin coins. There we go. We got some more gold coins. Yeah. Yeah. And another healing potion. All right. Just what we need. Oh, come on. Okay. Coming. Let's go. Ooh, gold. Yeah, please. There's a lot of skeletons down here. Yeah. Why don't you just follow me, dude? I know where I'm going. Just follow the air. See? See how it's blowing in? You follow the air current, and then it'll lead you straight out. Doesn't take much. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Did we get them all? Come on. What next? The giant snakes. Good job. Good boy. You're doing awesome. Oh, we'll see you on the other side. All right, let's jump back up here. There we go. Whoa. It's a lot of eggs. A lot of eggs. Well, it's a good thing that we like to do some alchemy too on the side. Okay. It's a good way to make money. It's a good way to keep ourselves alive with enough health potions. Hmm. There we go. Okay, very nice. I think that was a pretty good haul. You know, it's really convenient that this uh, fort has a, a tunnel that goes underneath underneath it, so. Just in case if something attacks it, <clears throat> you would have the option to escape. Yeah, here we are. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See her? Yeah. I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Oh, Might really? Sneak by. Just take it nice and slow and watch where you step. Sounds good. But if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take it by surprise. Ooh, iron helmet. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Okay. Follow me. Ooh, bear, just take a little nap. Don't need to wake up because he's very noisy. All right, there we go. Come on. That was close. Yeah, it was very close. And you don't have to deal with them. I'll take care of it. Hey, man. Can you hear me? Can you see me? There we go. <clears throat> oh, I thought you hit me. Just tripping over skeletons. Ooh, kill cam. All right, perfect. Yeah, we'll take care of this, take care of that, take care of that, and we're good. All right. Let's put away our flaming fingers. This looks like the way out. I was starting to wonder if we'd ever make it. We got it. Looks good. There's the rest of the air current flowing out of the uh, tunnel. Oh, good. We made it out. Oh, get down, get down. <sighs> that was
was crazy, dude. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. Yeah. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, guys. So before we end the episode, let's go ahead and read up on the Book of the Dragonborn. Here we go. We also learn some sparks as well. The Book of the Dragonborn by Prior Me Emmeline Medrine, Order of Talus, Wainon Priory. Years 360 of the Third Era, 21st of the reign of His Majesty Pelagius IV. Many people have heard the term Dragonborn. We are, of course, ruled by the Dragonborn Emperors, but the true meaning of the term is not commonly understood. For those of us in the Order of Talos, this is a subject near and dear to our hearts, and in, in this book, I will attempt to illuminate the history and significance of those known as Dragonborn down through the ages. Most scholars agree that the term was first used in connection with the covenant of Akatosh when he blessed Saint Alessia when the blessed Saint Alessia was given the amulet of kings and the dragon fires of the temple of the one were first lit. Akatosh, looking with pity upon the plight of man, drew precious blood from his own heart and blessed Saint Alessia with his with this blood of dragons and made a covenant that so long as Alicia's generations were true to the dragon blood, Akatosh would endeavor to seal tight the gates of oblivion, and to deny the armies of Daedra and undead to their enemies, the Daedra-loving aliens. Those blessed by Akatosh with dragon blood became no more simply as dragonborn. The connection with the rulers of the empire was thus there from the beginning. Only those of the dragon blood were able to wear the amulet of kings and light the dragon fires. All the legitimate rulers of the empire have been dragonborn. The emperors and empresses of the first Cyrodiilic empire, founded by Elysia, Raymond Cyrodiil and his heirs, and of course Cyber Septim and his heirs, down to our current emperor, His Majesty. Pelagius Septim the fourth because of this connection with the emperors however the other significance of the dragonborn have been ob obscured and largely forgotten by all all but scholars and those of us dedicated to the service of blessed Talos who was Tiber Septim very few realize that being dragonborn is not simple matter of heredity being the blessing of Akatosh himself, it is beyond our understanding and exactly how and why it is bestowed. Those who became emperor and the light and light the dragon fires are surely dragonborn. The proof is in wearing the amulets and lighting the lighting of the fires. But were they dragonborn and thus able to do these things, or was the doing the sign of the blessing of Akatosh to stand upon them? All we can say is that it is both and neither, a divine mystery. The line of septums have all been dragonborn, of course, which is one reason simplistic notion of it being hereditary has become so commonplace. But we know for certain that the early Cyrodiilic rulers were not at all related. There is also no evidence that Raymond Cyrodiil was descended from Alicia. Although there are many legends that would make it so, most of them dating from the time of Raymond and likely attempts to legitimize his rule. We know that the Blaze usually thought of the Emperor's bodyguards originated in Akaviri Crusaders who invaded Tamarol to for ob obscure reasons in the first in the late first era. They appear to have been searching for the Dragonborn. The events of the Pell Pass bear this out. The Akaviri were the first to proclaim Raymond Cyrodiil as Dragonborn. In fact, it was the Akaviri who did the most to promote his standing as Emperor, although Raymond himself never took the title in his lifetime. Wow, okay. And of course, there is no, there is no known hereditary connection between Tiber Septim 
and any of the previous Dragonborn rulers of Tamriel. Whether there can be more than one Dragonborn at any time is another mystery. The Emperor... The Emperors have done their best to dismiss this notion, but of course the Imperial Succession itself means that at the very least there are two or more potential Dragonborn at any time. The current ruler and his or her heirs, the history of the Blaze also hints at this at oh my goodness. The history of the Blaze also hints at this. Although little is known of their activities during the interregnum between Raymond's Empire and the rise of Tiber Septum, many believe that the Blaze continue their search out and guard those they believe were or might be Dragonborn during this time. Lastly, we come to the question of the true meaning of Dragonborn. The connection with the dragons is so obvious that it has almost been forgotten. In these days, when dragons are a distant memory, we forget that in the early days, being Dragonborn meant having dragon blood. Some scholars believe that was meant quite literally, although the exact significance is not known. The Nords tell tales of dragonborn heroes who were dragon slayers able to steal the power of dragons they killed indeed it was well known that the ekveri sought out and killed many dragons during their invasion and there are some evidence that continued after the after they became raymond cyrodiil's dragon guard again a connection to dragons the direct predecessor to the blades of today i leave you with what is known as a dragon as known as the prophecy of the dragonborn it is often originates in an elder scroll although it is sometimes also attributed to the ancient akaviri many have attempted to decipher it and many have also believed that its omens have been fulfilled and that the advent of the last dragonborn was at hand I make no claims as the inter interpreter of the prophecy, but it does suggest that the true significance of Akatosh's gift to moral kind has yet to be fully understood. When misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world, when the brass tower walks and the time is reshaped, when the three when thrice fell the red tower trembles, when the dragonborn ruler loses his throne, and the white tower falls. The snow tower lies sundered, kingless, bleeding. The world eater wakes, and the will turns upon the last dragonborn. All right, so thank you so very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thank you so very much for being here, and I hope you guys are being safe. And enjoy this weather that we're all having. Hopefully it's nice and warm for you guys too. All right, you all have a beautiful time, and uh, take it easy. Bye now.